Yo, what's going on YouTubers? Plumpy Man here. Uh, just doing another little video like I usually do. And today, got a... Showing off a flashlight that uh, Brennite sent out to me. And uh, I wanted to say sorry for the delay on doing this. But this is the new Artemis T18. Um, this thing is built like a tank. Like, uh, the Oath Keeper, you guys seen me do a video on it here a while back. They, they do really good construction. Like, um... These things are made out of like uh, T6-6061 aircraft aluminum. And they do a good job. Like the fit and finish on these things. You can see their logo here. The Brennite. Hopefully that's showing up alright. And uh, this is their new model. This is their uh, Artemis T18. This is a hunting light. And the cool features and parts of it. It has interchangeable modules. Um, as you can see right here. Um, they sent out well quite a few of them you can order different packages like most of them come with a like the standard one i think comes with a white red and green module um well i'll show you these these are some of the other modules uh that you have so we have a a green um a blue as you can see there and a red this is the one i'm interested in is the uv um, because hunting and hunting deer, I grew up hunting my whole life since I was a little kid. I, I think I went hunting before I was five years old, but I didn't uh, harvest anything until I was around five, and that was the squirrels and stuff like that with my dad. Um, and this one, I don't know. I can't find any information about it. Um, if you guys know can, and can please help, um, this is an IR850. I'm guessing it's something to do with infrared, but uh, I really don't know. But it has interchangeable modules, and the cool feature with it is remote control um and you can use it at a distance i don't know how far away like distance wise that you can use it um the cool part about it is i have taken light apart basically um it uses one 21 700 uh battery which is just a little bit larger than an 18650 if i can get this off here uh and i don't know much about them i know a lot about the 18650s you can see the battery here it's pretty solid um like 5000 milliamp battery um it's just basically 3.6 volt um 18 watt wow um like i said i don't know much about the 20 uh 21 700 batteries i just know they're a little more powerful quite a bit more powerful than the 18650 and bigger um but it seems to work just fine in this uh flashlight and when you get it from the factory, there will be a spacer to block it out. I have used this and been messing around with it. Um, basically, so it doesn't come on during transport or anything like that. But like I said, this thing is pretty sweet. It's used as a hunting light. You can use it for whatever. Right now, we have the just the white module in it. And the cool feature about it is you have your zoomable. I don't want to blind you guys. But uh, here, maybe we can do it like this. Um... You can go to small to the bigger. You can't really notice it, I guess, on me, but there we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see the big difference there. But it is zoomable um, just by screwing it like this. One thing, I don't know if it was just the one guys that I watched a review on, but uh, yeah. When you get it all the way out, it's sturdy. When you get it all the way in, it's sturdy. But if you're in a, in the middle, it his was just weird, I guess, because mine mine doesn't rock. He said that his was rocking, and this one doesn't at all. Um, but pretty solid little light um, with a white module. I know it's on high. It's 650 lumens, which is pretty darn bright. And uh, like to the medium setting or around in there was 350 and. I don't know what it is around low. Uh, we'll go ahead and show the fact sheet here or whatever. If you guys want to check that out or pause and look at that here in a minute. But uh, like I said, it's a pretty cool hunting light. And the only way to use the remote control on it, like you have in the center here is your power button. And then you have your, well, to make it brighter, the plus sign or dimmer with the negative down here on the bottom and as you can see the light is off and if you wanted to go here i'll shut this light out so you can see um if you wanted to turn it on with the remote 
see how it's lighting up but nothing's doing it that just tells you that the the remote is charged and the cool part about the remote is it a micro usb here in the end and you just charge the remote and once it's fully charged it's supposed to stay charged for like five to six months or something like that from what i heard but the way to use the remote is on the tail cap of the light here that's all it does when you turn it on it gives it power and it goes straight to turbo well once it's on then your remote is it's already connected but then it's allowed to work so i can turn it on or turn it off with the remote um if i wanted to lower the beam down or if i wanted to higher it lower it sorry i got this upside down um <laughs> but basically you have your you can raise the beam to high sorry if i'm blinding you or you can lower it with this remote basically if you had it set in on a weapon or anywhere else like if you had a setting somewhere besides with you or even on a stand or something then you don't have to have it in your hand to control it you can control it with this now you do have to adjust it like if you need to zoom it or anything like that uh with this to unscrew it and screw it basically and it works pretty well and uh yeah i like it just i mean just this is the unboxing and review of it uh but we'll go ahead and uh flip this back on here so we can see it better and show you guys but i'm gonna pause this for a second and change out the module and so you guys can see some different modules but they say actually no i won't pause it um once you have it on there this is how you uh you want to shut it off basically they say to take the battery out but i don't really know if you need to take the battery out i'm not going to but you should if you're going to do it like they say but basically once you have it unzoomed or whatever you hold it down here on these ribs and then just unscrew the top now it does take a while to unscrew but you have the advantage and the availability for so many different modules like i said you have infrared um you have ultraviolet you have blue green red and your white and you can see the module in here that's it that's your light module right there and basically you just grab a hold of it and unscrew it <laughs> and it's uh basically your copper module and this is the white you can see the bottom here how the how it meets the probes and stuff inside here this is the inside where it meets up with those prongs and how it works and how it's set up um we'll go ahead and set this to the side and grab a i don't know we'll grab uh ultraviolet that's the one i want to try <laughs> and you basically just grab your other module out set the thing to the side meet up your threads Put it back in and you're good to go um then basically screw this lid back on tight and snug there you go and let's see if the remote works i don't remember oh no i shut it off there we go wow if you could see it on mine that's crazy you can't really tell there, but on my end, it's crazy looking. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. But uh, that's it. That's the T18 Artemis from Brenite. They were nice enough to send this out to me to review. Like I said, this is just an unboxing uh, review right now. Um, the thing's built solid. Very good quality. Brenite makes, honestly, the Oath Keeper. I use that all the time still. That's one of my go-to lights uh, if I'm going outside or if I'm hunting or anything like that or fishing. Things built like a tank. So is this. Uh, <laughs> like I said, and I love the remote part of it to where you can turn it on, turn it off, whatever. Um, you can brighten or dim it. There we go. And then, boom. Just with the remote. Like I said, the remote's rechargeable. The battery's rechargeable. So you don't ever have to worry about batteries. Um, the thing comes with the, the basically the USB to C connection for recharging the battery. 
Um, one thing I didn't mention, I'll go ahead and do that before I end the video here in a second. Um, the cool part that I love about this battery, I wish every company did this. Um, let's turn this back on so we can see. But right here, hopefully you can see it right above my finger. That's the USB-C port right there. Sorry. Ugh. That's what this cable's for. You plug it into USB, plug it in there, and then you have a light indicator on the top, right here on the top of the cell, on the positive end. When you plug it in, it'll turn red, and when it's done charging, it'll be green, um, which is super freaking cool. I wish every battery company did that to where you could just recharge the batteries and not have to worry about nothing or have a different charger. Um, it does come with some O-rings um, to basically keep it waterproof, so if your old ones wear out, it has three replacements it comes with. And it also comes with the charger. Um, this is just USB to micro USB, pretty much. And that is to charge the remote itself. And when I got the light on, I can show you. Um, and you see that little flap there on the end? Hopefully, I can get this out of here. Well, I can't get it because I got no, I just I got no fingernails. Well, anyway, that's it. You can see the end of it. And. Uh, one last thing, I want to say sorry, but thank you so much to Brennite. Um, they sent this out to me, and I've had it for a while. But literally, when they sent it to me, two days later is when I was going in for my surgery. So it's been weeks, and it's been on the back burner. I'm trying to get this out there for them. Thank you guys so much for this. Uh, I appreciate you and sending this out to me to review. I love your lights. And if you guys are interested in these things or want to check out even more of Brennite's products, I'll leave a link to Brennan's website down in the description of this video. You guys can check it out. Oh, also, and one last thing. Um, if you do order right now, I don't know if they're still doing this or not, but when they did with me, this is what came with it. You get a free, uh, just basically a free gift, which everybody loves free things. <laughs> I do anyway. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to see what's in here. I opened it. I, mean, I know what's in here because I looked at it before uh, I went in. And then you have this. Which is super cool, I think, by the way. I hope you guys can see that. And then I won't open it, but it's a letter from uh, Kitty from Brennite. Uh, she sent me a personal letter on it. Just because it's got my name and everything like that. It's the only reason. It's, thank you for your support and help uh, of our brand. Hope you enjoy this flashlight. And uh, it can work for you while you're hunting or anytime. Good luck and good cheer and good health. And uh, she didn't know it, but I was going into surgery either the next day or uh, two days after I got this. So, which was pretty cool. And also, so you get this little pouch um, with a tassel and that letter, which means a lot to me, believe it or not. And uh, this bad boy right here. Set this to the side. It's a keychain, Brennite uh, nail clippers. And that's the free thing that came with mine. It could be different from other people's. And the cool part about it is, hopefully you can see that. It's a bottle opener right there. And I think that's for your nails or something. I don't know. I think so, yeah. It's like a emery board type thing in the center. It's kind of like sandpaper. But uh, that could come in pretty darn handy, especially... I'll use it when I go fishing, believe it or not. <laughs> if I need to open a pop bottle or something or clip a fishing line or my nails. Uh, anything like that. But anyway, that's it. I want to say thank you again to Brennite. If you guys are interested in this, uh, check down in the description. You can go check out their website. They got some pretty cool lights. Um, I recommend this one. And honestly, hands down, I, I recommend the Oath Keeper. If you guys are looking for a good solid light um, that you don't need all the crazy bells and whistles it's got a lot of stuff anyway but the oath keeper uh, that's one of my go-to lights believe it or not so anyway let me know what you guys think thanks